Kinley Francis here from Morton Uncover Private Tours. It is January the 23rd, uh, 2020. Um, what's interesting is a lot of people ask me about the weather in the winter months. Um, and I'm here to debunk the myth about Orkney weather. So currently ahead of me, I'm sitting in the Tour of Iroquois at the moment. Currently ahead of me is Scapa Bay. Okay. Uh, it looks windy. It is windy. It's probably about 35 miles an hour at the moment. Um, but the temperature today is 10 degrees centigrade. So if you work out that in Fahrenheit, it's 10 uh, plus 10, so 20 centigrade, plus 32 uh, gives you the Fahrenheit figure. So 52 Fahrenheit uh, for the 23rd of January. So the idea about Orkney having um, very uh, cool weather and very, very cold weather, um, particularly in the winter months is, is a bit of a myth. Uh, we are very lucky that we've got the Gulf Stream here in the Orkney Islands, so we tend to be mild all year round. So from anywhere between around about 8 degrees centigrade to uh, about 18 throughout the year. Yes, sometimes we can get a very cold breeze off the North Atlantic from the westerly direction, or we can get a cool easterly from the North Sea. Uh, but you are looking at a mild sort of climate uh, the entire year round. So very little snow. In fact, this winter so far, touch wood, uh, we've not had any snow at all. Um, last year was different because we got hit by a bit of uh, bad weather from the east of the continents. Um, um, but this, this time uh, we we're actually very mild. So Scapa ahead of me here is showing uh, this open bay of water heading out to Scapa Flow. Um, and Scapa Flow in um, Old Norse is Scabbard Water um, or Scalpe Floy. I like uh, speaking to my, when I take my people on tour, I often get them to try and pronounce things um, in the Old Norse way. So Kirkwo, the city of Kirkwo, is Korkivar. Can you see that? Korkivar. It means church on the bay. And it dates back to uh, the late part um, of the 11th century, named by the Vikings, funnily enough. Um, so Skapafo, um is Skelpe Floy, uh, or Sword Water. Doing a windscreen wipe here because it's, uh, even though it's a nice day and a bit fresh, I'm still getting my window covered by salt. So Scapa Flow, yeah, Sword or uh, Scabbard Water, or um, the Bay of the Isthmus. There's a variety of different ways of explaining Scapa Flow, but it is the world's largest natural harbor, okay? Uh, a natural harbor. Okay, so Scapa Flow is about 140 square miles, on average depth of about 50 meters. There is some competition between Sydney um, and uh, the Scapa Flow Basin as well, but the big difference is with Sydney is that, uh, no offense to my Australian clients out there at Follow Orkney Uncovered, but you use the estuaries to head into Sydney, making it the biggest uh, natural harbour in the world. Whereas we are just one big pool of water uh, in between the North Atlantic and the North Sea. So when you look at a map of the Orkney Islands, what you'll see is Scapa Flow in the middle. And it's believed that at some stage it used to be part of the ancient lake bed of Lake Orcadie, a massive freshwater lake uh, that took up a vast proportion um, of the North here. Um, under a freshwater lake, and that was about 400 million years ago. So today, you can see, is used by tanks. Um, and in the far distance, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's some tankers. So a lot of this fuel, um, rather the oil, comes in from the North Sea, um, and it's shipped in here, or rather, by the big tankers, or um, it's brought in. Um, through pipeline, I think. I, I need to double check that. Uh, but it goes to the island of Flotta, meaning that island in Old Norse. Uh, from there, it is pipelined down to the UK of mainland for refinery before coming back up the way again. So we, we pay fairly high fuel prices here in the Orkney Islands, uh, but that's due to it not being refined here uh, in Orkney. Uh, but then again, goods and services are, are fairly inexpensive uh, for island life, and we are on fairly high wages to, to offset that. Um, but here in the north, what we've got is this uh, this amazing looking views, mostly everywhere in the Orkney Islands, you've got views of the sea. So back to the weather. Uh, the weather, yeah, today is a lovely day. I actually felt like you could wear a t-shirt today. Uh, but bearing in mind, I'm a bit of a wimp. I'm sitting inside my car at the moment. 
with my North Face jacket on, which is nice and warm, and thermals. <laughs> so if I do go outside, which may be uh, a case, then uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, from Orkney Uncovered to the rest of the world, uh, there we go. Um, and I dedicate this video to a good friend of mine called Freya, uh, who lives in Florida. Uh, Freya, love the Scandinavian name Freya. Freya um, is often asking me about the weather uh, here in the north. Um, so there you go. The Gulf Stream brings in a mild climate um, and it can be as much as 20, 25 degrees difference in temperature to Inverness, which is only about 155 miles south of us. Um, so there we go. Kinley here from Orkney Uncovered Private Tours. A little bit of history about the uh, Scapa Flow, the economy and the climate. Um, and I'm going to step out the car now and you can hear the wind really blowing in. Have a great day.